today is one of those perfect October cold fronts, about a 15 degree drop from yesterday, and I am not going to be hunting. Um, and it, it really just comes down to the wind, and sometimes um, knowing when not to go is just as important as when to go. Uh, the buck that I want to be hunting tonight, he's I know right where he's bedded at, he's going to stand up in the daylight. I, I'm very, this is a very good chance, and uh, I just don't have a place where I can find a weak spot, a place, a chink in his armor, where I can sit without getting busted. And uh, I, what he's doing right now, I really need a certain wind, and I had that wind uh, a couple nights ago, did get the chance uh, with an east wind to slip in there two nights ago and filmed him uh, from about 150 yards and uh, uh, just never had him any closer than that. Um, it's probably going to daylight again this evening, but like I said, um, I'm playing the long game with this one. Uh, I know where he's at. I know what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, and uh, um, tonight is not going to be a kill night, but uh, I'm just going to drive around this evening and see what I can see from the road and wait for uh, better winds and uh, him to get a little more outside the bubble that he's living in right now. Uh, more towards the end of October, uh, that bubble will get a little bit bigger and I'll be able to hunt him uh, today, the northwest wind. I would be able to hunt him with the northwest wind as he starts to move a little bit more. But better days ahead, um, no wind to go and when not to.